in. I saw something on the ceiling. A light. Save me. Save the money first. And there's that elevator to sector zero. Process successful. <gasps> For those of you guys who played, uh, actually I don't remember which one it is. But you'll recognize this boss. I never fought him, but I've seen him. Yeah. I didn't realize who this boss was until at the end of the fight. I'll say this though. It's very disgusting. Yeah, it's this guy. He wears the ugly metal mask. Huh, it's a fish. <laughs> this beam deals a lot of damage, and it's like impossible to jump over it. Sometimes we'll go around twice. But one of my friends that I know a guy that was like this. So I'm like, you had to be face, he's like, oh yeah. He's heavy, you shoot his tail, then when his tail is frozen, then you start shooting his ugly face. And then he'll get on the freaking thing and like scoot around on it, which is like, I don't even remember how to dodge it. I think my bullets were actually tracing it. Ah, my shots. Same as shoots energy, not bullets. Hey, Lacey. Hmm? Want to do something really gross? What? Hold on a second. I gotta kill this guy. Just die, you ugly mother. Huh? Okay. Hold on a sec. Who? Who is that? Uh, he's from an older game, but I don't remember which one. Look right now. Oh. Now what do you do? Look. Right now, we're Ooh. Yeah, for those of you who played the game, it's him. He's back, and he's ugly still. But now I defeat. And he sounds like a baby. We're moving again? Maybe it was Madeline Bergman. Turned on the ship. Or maybe it was Adam. I don't know. Oh! 
Onward to victory. To Sector Zero. This elevator is bound for Berlin Revision. This is the Sideways and back, you know, walk forward. Hey, Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see what the Metroids look like? What? Oh, like with the top part? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just asking. You shoot me. <laughs> you can't destroy these Metroids. What do you mean? Sector Zero Metroids most likely can't be frozen. What are you talking about? How is that possible? There's a strong likelihood that the Metroid's mortal weakness. Vulnerability to cold has 
been overcome with genetic manipulation. They took steroids, basically. That's true. There's no way you can destroy them. But that baby earlier, the infant Metroid, you were able to freeze it. True. My guess is that it was because it was still in the larval stage. Larval. But who can say? One thing's for certain. They're definitely propagating Metroids. Developing bioweapons with an obvious and fatal flaw would be suicide. It's hard to imagine the military mass-producing effective weapons. Then again, none of this makes sense. Nope. Metroids are lethal. Their extinction was a wise decision. So why do we recreate them? And now, since no one has the technology to defeat them, they cannot be allowed to exist. Hang on, Adam. First, I need to know why you're credited as the creator of the Metroid Military Program Report. I received the request to write the report from Galactic Federation Headquarters. In that report, I outlined the potential dangers of such a program and explained categorically why it shouldn't be attempted. HQ listened, but a small group within the Federation co-opted my report for its own purposes. So you was forced to do it. no choice. Lights up. Samus. You'll be fully recovered soon. I have several missions for you. This facility appears to be on an intercept course with Galactic Federation HQ. If what Madeline Berman said is correct, there's a distinct possibility that this is the start of an attack by MP against the Federation. One way or another, some sort of attack is clearly imminent. You have to find a way to divert the ship off its intercept course. I've located a survivor in room M double, toward the rear of the bioweapon research center. Whoever it is will be a key witness. Secure the survivor's safety. And defeat Ridley. He's as much of a threat as the Metroids. And one last word of warning. Madeline Burton is no ally. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna end the video right now because there's another long cutscene. <laughs>